I'm going to show you here how to correctly set the focus and zoom on this Verifocal Manual Zoom outdoor bullet camera with infrared night vision. It has a 5 to 50 millimeter lens, which is massive. This is a model HD98550. We carry in white and also dark gray. One of the hardest things people find is how to properly adjust the lens. And the reason we're making this video is because we want you to make sure you understand how to use the lens on the bottom and to not use a drill, only use the Allen key provided. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up damaging the camera if you use a drill. Please, no electric screwdrivers. If you wanna use your own bit set, you can, but again, it's a hand-driven screwdriver that you gotta use. Now, I have the camera here laying on the desk and I'm going to show you how to focus it while I do it so you can watch what's happening. Now one of these is a focus and the other is a zoom. Sometimes they might even be mislabeled from the factory it happens depending on the batch that they're producing but in this case this, this one's zoom this one's focus. So the zoom is closest to the front end of the camera and the focus is in the back. The way to correctly uh, focus and zoom is first you zoom in. So let's go back and take a look. I'm going to use my screwdriver. I'm going to turn clockwise and counterclockwise to explore how much room I have for adjusting. So right now I'm all the way. I did clockwise turn. Actually, I'm doing a counterclockwise turn. That zoomed it in and a clockwise turn made it wide angle. So I went to all the way to the widest angle by doing a clockwise turn. Now if I try to focus it, I really don't find a good sweet spot for focus. It's actually, fo it's actually losing focus more as I do it. So what you have to do is you have to dial back. So clockwise was focusing, counter uh, sorry, clockwise was zooming out a wide picture. Now I'm gonna to go towards a tele picture, which is counterclockwise turn, and I'm gonna take about one full turn. And then I'm gonna go back to the zoom lens and do a clockwise turn on it until I can reach this limit. Being very gentle with this, do not try to turn it like a piece of furniture, you're gonna break the lens mechanism. Once you do that, there's no way we can repair that and you void your warranty. We test every single camera here under video surveillance before we ship it to you to make sure it's working so we know it went, look, it went out in, operate, in operational condition. So now that I have did a clockwise turn and I'm trying to focus it, I'm not getting a good picture. I went counterclockwise, makes it lose more focus. So what you need to do is go back to the zoom, go counterclockwise more, and find the good sweet spot that your zoom lines up with your focus. using very small turns. I'm using this box, it has some writing on it to be able to focus onto that, set a distance away to make sure that I've got a good focused picture there. Now I'm going back to my focus here. So I'm trying to turn it more to clockwise. It lost its focus. Now I'm gonna go counterclockwise again. And if you look at the picture, I'm doing very small turns. Right now it's out of focus. I'm turning clockwise a little bit at a time. And you see that gets a little bit sharper there. Maybe the camera may not pick it up on the phone, but it does get sharper. So what you have to do is set the camera to a vantage point or a focal point that's of interest to you. So this is a wide angle picture for me and look clear and sharp, it's 1080p. Now, if you wanted to zoom in all the way on an object, I'll do that here one also to show you. So clockwise turn on the zoom here makes it wide angle. It won't focus for until you go back for one full turn, okay? Now I'm gonna keep going counterclockwise, zooming in. Now make sure you have an object you can focus onto, but now I'm leaving it all the way a counterclockwise turn that I can do. I'm going to go back on my focus. I'm going to go counterclockwise because my clockwise turn, I've reached this limit. 
I'm going back counterclockwise, trying to see if I can find a good sweet spot for this. I can't. So I'm going to leave it at the most counterclockwise position. And I'm going to go back, dial back the zoom a little bit by doing a clockwise turn and see if there's a good medium that I can reach with the maximum focal, the focus set on counterclockwise position. And I'm going back all the way. I, I, I zoomed it back out. I'm going to go back one more time. I did a full counterclockwise rotation to its limit. Then I just did a one turn back away from that limit. And now I'm doing a clockwise turn on my focus to focus it in. Being very gentle because if you push this too hard, you will break the lens. So now my focus is all the way clockwise turned. I'm going to now dial back out a little bit more on my zoom and went out of focus, go back in the other direction. And now I can actually read this box. It says Uline 16 by 12 by 12. So that's how you focus these cameras. To make sure you do this correctly without breaking the lens on the camera. So this is focused at a certain object and a distance. For you, it'll depend on what you're looking at, what's your view. I'm just using objects to focus this lens on. So this is for a really, really far away zoomed out viewing at this distance. If you're up on a ladder and you're doing this, it's gonna be challenging, but use a screwdriver with the proper bit. If you can't use the Allen key, it gives you more dexterity and gives you more feedback on it so you don't break the mechanism. Please don't break that because if you do, it's not gonna be covered by warranty. Like I said, we do check it before we ship it out to keep everybody honest. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.